Affirmative prayer is different from the prayers of petitions you may have learned as a child. This type of prayer is a scientific process that speaks to the truth of who we are and gets amazing results when applied correctly. It's a five-step process. Recognition, unification, realization, thanksgiving, release. It's impossible to go through the explanation of this type of prayer here in a short time, but, and more will follow later, but for now, think about the fear that has come up for you and allow yourself for a moment to feel what the opposite of that feeling would feel like. Perhaps it's peace or love or some form of resting in a knowing of security. Set that as your intention for the prayer and then begin by recognizing the quality of God that would best represent what it is you think you are missing. So, for example, I might pray, God is love, and God's love is unconditional. God's love is the same for everyone at every age. God's love cannot be diminished over time. It's ever-present, and in God's love there is perfect peace and a sense of everlasting security. And you can continue in this vein. Next, unification. When we understand that we're made in God's image, we begin to realize that we actually are an individualized expression of God itself. And so whatever we know is true about God is also true about us. So we continue our prayer. This day, this moment, I see and I know I am made in God's image. I am made of pure love and pure peace. Security is my birthright. Nothing can separate me from that love and unity. I know this now. Who I am is perfect peace. The third step is realization. And so ah, if this is true, then what does that say about my fears? So we continue the prayer. Right here, right now, I know that I accept the end of any fear to the contrary. I know that God's love is everlasting, so it doesn't stop as I age. I know that no matter what happens in my life, at the center of my being, there's a place of peace, and I can go there at any time and remember the truth of who I am. I do that now. I see myself feeling an incredible sense of union with God itself. I see myself surrounded and filled with perfect love. I allow peace to flood my being and I let go of any myth or belief that I may have held in the past. This moment, this day, I accept the truth about my life. It is free from fear. I am whole and perfect as I am right here and right now. And then we move to the next step, which is thanksgiving. We pray, I allow myself to feel and to experience profound gratitude for knowing this truth. I see the perfection in life just as it is and just as it is not. I am grateful. I rejoice in my life experience. I see it as good and only good. And finally, the last stage is the release. We pray, so I easily release any fear or doubt that I've had up till now. I accept the truth of who I really am. I surrender to this moment. I no longer allow my thoughts to be fearful. I entrust myself into the love that I know I am. I let my word go into the perfect law of the universe, which says, it is done unto me as I believe. And I do believe. And so it is. Amen. You don't need to use the words I've used here. Just follow the idea. I like to begin each day with affirmative prayer. And sometimes it's for the release of a particular fear. Sometimes it's an opportunity to set the intention for my day or week. Check out the website 
TonyLamada.com for other examples of affirmative prayer. When you change your thinking, you change your life. This is the clearest way I know to change your thinking. Give it a try.